It's Friday, April 11th, 2014. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson. Here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. This week, several people got an exclusive sneak peek at what's being called one of the year's most anticipated documentaries, Ruben Salazar, Men in the Middle. The 1954 Texas Western College graduate began his journalism career at the El Paso Herald Post and got his break at the Los Angeles Times in 1959. Through recently released files, the film shows Salazar's life and historical resonance from mainstream reporter to primary chronicler of the radical Chicano movement of the late 1960s. He was killed by a law enforcement officer in 1970. Accident or assassination? I'm absolutely convinced that he was assassinated. For over 40 years, this question has been a mystery. He began to talk about what he really felt about things and became more of an activist. The Mexican-American in this country has been sold a bill of goods. People were shocked. Ruben said, I have a problem with the LAPD. Says, well, they came to see me and they said that Mexicans aren't ready for my kind of reporting and they want me to stop. Why did this happen? The first ever campus-wide UTEP Open House has a great selection of visual and hands-on activities for the Paso del Norte community to enjoy all day today and Saturday. Friday will include tours of the university's state-of-the-art education, engineering, and science research labs and a centennial celebration with 100 minutes of dancing at Curlin Plaza in front of the Health Sciences and Nursing Building. An exciting addition to the schedule is a chance to meet UTEP women's basketball head coach Keitha Adams and the women's women's team. They will be available to sign autographs and take photos with fans from 10.30 a.m. to noon Saturday in front of the library. The first 5,000 fans will get a free commemorative poster. Also Saturday, UTEP alumnus and Hollywood producer Hank Cohn will talk about his new documentary, UTEP, The First 100 Years. The documentary will be shown at the Centennial Museum at 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Visit utep100years.com for a full schedule of events. On Sunday, the university will salute academic and professional excellence in the UTEP community during the annual Honors Convocation. Each spring, UTEP recognizes outstanding students, staff, and faculty in the areas of service, leadership, and academics. Numerous awards will be presented, including the university's Distinguished Achievement Award, the highest honor given to faculty and staff members for excellence in service to students and the university. The ceremony will begin at 2 p.m. inside McGoffin Auditorium. And mark your calendars for next week's Centennial Lecture. Monica Lozano, Chief Executive Officer of Imprimedia LLC, will present her lecture titled Latinos, Texas, and America's Future. The lecture will start at 5 p.m. Tuesday, April 15th in room 126 of the Undergraduate Learning Center. The event is free and open to the public. For more information about these and other stories, check out utepnews.com. I'm Veronique Masterson. We'll see you next Friday. Go Miners!